humidity levels will be through the roof today. My recommendation? Stay indoors and keep that AC running, everyone. Be careful out there. As temperatures reach dangerous levels in Bayou Sorrel, the Edwards clan prepares to launch. And Willie's plan for the day is to leapfrog lines with his dad, Junior Edwards, who will have little Willie in his boat to help with the extreme heat. Got a lot of friggin' hooks to run. <laughs> Be a long friggin' day. Yeah. Leapfrogging is when one person runs the first line and the, next, the other person, the other boat goes to the next line, and you just keep hopping back and forth like that all day long and everything. And between me and my dad, we got right at most probably close to 70 hooks, 80 hooks. And you got to be back at a certain time because you don't want your alligators to rot out there in the heat. Something with some weight on this. Come on, boy. I got a big one right here. See how big he is. Oh, that's a bull. Woo! Oh, this one, mother. This one's nasty. Part. Boy, I'm sure missing my son right now. You don't realize how much help a uh, helper he is until you get to stuff like this. <sighs> yeah, this thing right here, about 350 pound dead weight. It gets pretty rough. When I'm fighting alligators by myself and I'm fishing on my own, it can be very dangerous. I mean, you can pull muscles in your back trying to pick up on anything by yourself. It can fall on you and hurt you. I mean, break your leg or something like that. Yeah, it's a hot day. 45 miles northwest in Bayou Sorrel, little Willie and his grandfather, Junior, are leapfrogging areas with Willie. They're hoping to get their lines run faster in this brutal heat. It's hot already. It's so hot, but you don't even hardly want to be outside. And them alligators, that's what that's when they move. It gets cold, the alligators going in the ground. And we got to hunt them hottest part of the year and everything. And it's just, the heat's unbearable. It's stretched all up in there. It's all up in them bushes. He's under that wrapped up if he ain't dead. Pull your rope to you. Pull your rope. If something on it, I'll get him out and buy. I'll get him off of that. Pull him out. Pull him out of there. Pull it. I'm pulling out of there. Pull oh, it. it's all wrapped up. Just pull it. Keep pulling. Oh! Oh, Lord. Oh, look what an alligator. Mm-hmm. Hold that rope. Pull him out of there. Tell you what, I'm starting to feel bad. Starting to feel bad? You all right? Yeah, I don't feel good at all. Getting overheated? Oh! Now look, ho, don't try to put that in the boat. What you doing? Trying to put him over in the boat? No, you're not. Watch out. You got to get straight before you do that. Catch that winch boat, winch thing. The winch takes a little bit longer to, to get lined up to get him in the boat, but you ain't got to break your back and strain and all that. Let him lean out a little bit where he won't catch the side of the boat. Pull him over in the, over in the boat as you come. Oh! Catch him by the head. Pull his head over in the boat. Oh. Pull his head over in here. Oh! Nauseated, sick of my stomach. Really don't want to be out here. With little Willie showing signs of heat exhaustion so quickly, 
Junior calls Willie back to help diagnose the situation. What's wrong with you, boy? Why you ain't help Popo? Feel bad. Too hot. Can you take that heat? Out here in this heat and everything, you're feeling bad already this morning. Get in this boat. We're going to take you on to the doctor, see what's going on with you. I mean, that's my son. And when I pulled up there and seen he was like that, I decided to throw in the towel. I mean, it was just way too much. I mean, I don't want nothing to happen to my son out here. And it's not going to nothing gonna happen to him. I'll, I'll take him in before anything happens. We'll take him in and find out what's wrong with him. I'll be back. Let me know. Little Willie's day is over. But now Junior has a tall task ahead to check all his lines alone during the hottest part of the day. I hope Little Willie's all right, but I got to get the rest of these lines run. Can't leave these alligators on the line for two or three days. They'll die on you. Little Willie kind of got overheated there. He was hurting pretty bad, and he was sick of his stomach, so he, he had to go in and go, go back to the doctor and find out what was wrong. I wasn't expecting to be out there today running hooks by myself, but uh, hey, things happen. You got to do what you got to do. as strong as I used to be. But it all worked out in the wash. Well, with a deckhand, you got help to get big ones in the boat. When you ain't got a deckhand, you can get them in the boat, but it's rough on you. Now, I'm getting kind of old, and I just don't want to feel like pulling on that stuff no more. My back hurts me every time I get out of bed in the morning. <laughs> so damn hot, no help, and that's what you got to do. 52 miles north in Bayou Sorrel, Willie returned to the water hours ago after taking his son to the hospital with heat exhaustion. And now he continues to divide and conquer with his father, Junior. Hot day, but job's got to be done, job's got to be done. South Louisiana, I mean, the heat is doing alligator season is unreal. You can have a heat stroke right quick out here, and it's tough work. And you got to keep going and just keep your head in the game and just keep rolling. If you slow down any, any little bit of thing, you could take a chance at losing all your alligators. Got a big one on the bank. Oh, he's alive. He's a good, good 11 foot, uh, 10 and a half foot, right at 11 foot. Boy, he can break that rope. Got to get up here on the bank and uh, shoot this thing where I can get him back over it. Cause he's around all kind of trees. This big old gator. This 500 pound beast is a good kill, but getting it back to the boat alone is a challenging chore. Now it comes a job, boy. I'm missing my son more and more every hook. Now's the job. I much prefer hunting with my son. I mean, I do miss a little bit of hunting on my own, but. It's a lot easier and a lot better hunting with a helper on the boat. It takes a lot off your back. Working this hard and straining on them alligators like that, I mean, it, something bad can happen right quick. <sighs> this thing is heavy. I mean, you're talking five, 600-pound animal. As Willie loads his last gator of the day, Junior approaches to tally up the team's numbers. Got him done? Yeah, I'm done. Yeah, I've just run the, the last, last one right up? down there. Huh? I just run the last one right down yeah. there. What do it look like? 
I got about seven, eight, ten, something about like that. Down ten. Got them down in there. Had to rush him in. Doing? Had to rush him in. You heard nothing yet? I ain't heard nothing yet. We're gonna huh? find out. We're gonna go to the house and see what's going I on. I had a heat stroke or something. Got hot, too hot. I hope not. I have not one of them. It, it ain't time nice. To get over that. But uh, we're gonna get these things on to the house and get them out this yeah. heat. Call me when y'all find out. Something. All right. 